Dear friends and followers, welcome to Bravo Architects. This is the second video of the library building design. If you haven't watched the first one, which is the architectural design approach, you can check it out in the cards up in the corner. As I created the first mass in the beginning of the design approach and divided the shape into smaller pieces according to function, now I'm gonna go ahead and create the overall plans for the at least ground floor or top view so that I can basically know how I would distribute the functions in the bubble diagram into the plan. Once I'm done with overall plans, I need to design a core for the building which is going to serve as the vertical circulation. So this is basically a staircase along with elevators and elevator lobby. In this solution, the staircase can be served as the fire exit as well. The best way to design the restroom in a public building is to attach them next to the core so it's a part of a core. and. This is what I do in here as well. I tried an alternative for restrooms. It didn't really work in terms of spaciousness and ergonomy. So I tried another one. Another one. And another one finally came up with this best solution the entrance is really important for any building when it comes to emphasizing the entry I'm gonna count few features for the entrance to maximally provide the spatial quality If you have a cafe in your building, you need to give special effort to design it and make sure it's cozy and comfortable because people are gonna have their free time spent over here and they're gonna want it to be relaxing so pay attention to some details like bars and semi-open spaces as well as the service entrance. It should be close to circulation but not really in front of ice. Let's create the security line here, placing two x-rays. Right when you enter the building, you need to have access to clock room. Let's give the security man a workplace with a desk and a chair. You enter the building, information desk must be across you in a distance, and on your right side, there will be toll gates for accessing the main reading hall. But before entering the main reading hall, you're gonna wanna design a lobby where you would love to spend some time reading book, sitting on the comfortable chair by the greeneries. When designing places like administration, I like to put some uh, furniture and the users so that I can see how much space they would take. I would just put few offices and a meeting room. In this case, the administration is next to the foyer, which links to the multi-purpose hall with a capacity of 72 seats and six disabled users. In the foyer, there must be some sitting elements, maybe some cocktail tables, some panels for information, and also it needs to be located not too far away from the restroom. So finally, I can start placing some columns. Well, usually I design the structure in the beginning when overall shape is completed, but in this case, I just wanted to see some of the functions so that I can have a basic idea about my span lengths. Definitely, architectural design comes in priority to structure. So this is the urban area of the entrance where it would attract the user's attention as they're walking down the streets. So we would have the ramp and the stairs to access the sub-basement level in here. It will be separated from the sideway with the urban furniture like this, the combination of green areas and the sitting element. 
One of the important things when you enter the building is the height ceiling. So in this area, you can see in the section as well, we created this high ceiling in order to have that psychological comfort when you enter the building. This is not a big building as a library, so we're, we're not going to have a fancy staircase that's climbing up to the, the gallery void in here. Instead, we would have this core, the staircase attached to the side of the building with an additive form. We would have quick access to the cafe in here with a little bit of semi-open space. And uh, following this area, I would like to place the exhibition here where people won't need to climb upstairs to see because it's just easy to access and the workshop will take the adjacent place where they can finalize the work and directly start exhibiting here we have the exit since we elevated the building for 50 centimeters as a sub basement we also need to provide access to the ground level the greenery actually plays a linear role around the building as well as inside. As you can see, I tried to extensionally connect them with the flower pots up to the lobby. Going to upstairs, we can use the elevators with the lobby here and as well as the staircase. The, this restroom repeats in every floor so it's part of the core and it's really necessary to provide the um, enough amount of you know restrooms in a building like this. So as we exit the lobby, we can see the entrance from a gallery void. It gives that essential feeling in a library building like this and uh, we're gonna have digital library in in this area as well as in these rooms where i designed them to be suspended on top of the cafeteria we would still have these gaps as a gallery so when you look at the digital study rooms from here or in one of the rooms you would see something like i sketched like this Following the circulation, you would meet the personnel who are going to work in here so that people can have information or rent books and stuff like that. Designing the bookshelves should not be just putting the furniture in the place. I considered the sunlight helping the users to explore the books in and out of these bookshelves. So I placed these linear openings and the, and each side of the building so that the the sunlight can actually shade uh, among the bookshelves right here and i made sure that the ergonomy of circling around these bookshelves are also in place so another design for the bookshelf is like taking some steps for converting the bookshelves exhibiting some sculptures on top as well as sitting elements so the same design repeats in uh, every part of the bookshelves that are adjacent to the windows and you can see the same one on the upstairs as well which is the last floor it's gonna make more sense when you see the 3d model of this building and the third video which is the presentation and visualization make sure you subscribe to bravo architects if you're new around here and turn on the ring bell in order to get notified when i upload the next video you can see these round tables in the second floor as well i tried to place them pretty much everywhere so the idea is to maximize the places where people can have a sit because it's not going to be comfortable just standing around and trying to read some books it's also good to have some variety of sitting elements not only just the circular ones but the desks and the benches as well on the second floor we would have only the reading hall partially in the first floor the reason i like to place the reading halls on top floors is that the the ground floor will be very noisy and people can just enter the building for visiting the exhibitions or attending to the seminar in the multi-purpose hall this is why top floors first and the second one will be more quiet i hope you enjoyed the video guys and it will be a contribution and inspiration for your design project on the third video you're gonna see the elevations visualizations and the presentations so stay tuned on bravo architects and see you in the next video